When we started this series on India's EV revolution, I remember talking about this phase where people would go, "Kitna average deti hai," and then moving to a phase where people were like, "Yar, kitni tez bhagti hai," or "Kya features hai." But irrespective of the speed or the features, there's one important factor which haunts all of these vehicles, and that is the maintenance. Maybe even if it's an EV car. In this episode of India's EV Revolution, we're going to talk about what is the maintenance cost involved in an EV car and what are the factors that you should consider when you own an EV car. Now there are 150 moving parts on an EV. Compared to that, an IC vehicle has 10,000 moving parts. Why do you feel like I've said this before? I have. There are 150 moving parts in an electric vehicle. But even if an EV has just 150 moving parts or even less, does not mean it is maintenance free. There are some common elements between an EV and IC car, like the tires, the brakes, even the cooling system. But there is two differentiating factors that differentiates an EV from an IC car. That is the battery and the motor. Now the battery is the most important part of an EV. It's also the most expensive part on the EV. The car is literally built around it. In order to maintain a battery health, make sure that you charge your car on your regular intervals. Also, don't leave the car completely charged in case you're not going to be using it for weeks to come. Another factor that you have to factor in, especially when you're doing longer journeys, is make sure that your car is charged in properly when you start off. Otherwise, you'll just leave it unplugged. Assume that the car is charged. But EVs or a battery bag does tend to lose charge when it's not used. It's like your phone. Another important factor that you have to factor in is the coolants that go into your car. Because the battery bag has to maintain an optimum temperature of 29 degrees Celsius to 34 degrees Celsius, so that you get the best of range and also helps maintaining the life of the battery. There's a coolant that circulates through the radiator, so make sure that you're regularly changing or checking on the coolant. It's very different as compared to an IC car, so you don't have to frequently check the coolant. But yes, that has to be checked. In case you're wondering what is the cost of a battery pack, the Tigo EV, the battery pack is 26 kilowatt hour, and that will send you back anywhere between 4 to 5.5 lakhs. That's expensive, and that's one of the main reasons why even Tata. Gives you a warranty of three years, which can be extended, and that's completely on the whole car, including the battery pack. And make sure that if you're charging the car, you're charging it at authorized service stations or authorized charging stations. In case you're charging the car at home, make sure that you're using the charger which has been provided by the manufacturer or purchased directly only from the manufacturer. If you do want to know what is the cost of changing your coolant, that's around two thousand rupees. And it also depends on the kind of coolant that you're using, so it's completely your call. Let's talk about the motor. An electric motor has very few moving parts, and because of which the maintenance on an electric motor is close to nothing. But you do need to change the motor oil on a regular basis. Ten thousand kilometers is what I would advise, so that the motor runs very smooth and healthy. But otherwise, the manufacturers don't even recommend that. But a regular check won't harm. And the oil change for a motor would be around two thousand bucks on an average. Again, depending on the oil that you want to use. Now, the motor and the battery will get you going, but you also need to put a stop or slow down, and that's where the brakes come in. The brakes on the Tigo EV are not regenerative brakes, and because of which they're cheaper. They're The same brakes that go on a normal Tigo. The brake pads need to be checked regularly, is because obviously there's wear and tear happening, and they also depend on how you drive. If you're a person who pushes the car and brakes hard, you need to check the brake pads on a regular basis. But if you're a person who likes an easy-go driving style, like me, for example, then you do not need to. But then, yes, every time you do take your car into the shop for servicing, you might as well get that checked. The cost of a brake pad on the Tigo EV is about three thousand bucks for a set of four. That can go upwards if you're not taking it directly from the company, and there is a third-party brake pads that you're applying. So that's three thousand bucks. That's not much, and you might just need to change the brake pads maybe once in two years. Again, that depends on the way you drive. Your car has to be in proper contact with the tarmac, and that's done by the tires. And hence, it's very important to have a proper check of the tires on a regular basis. If your tires have been picking up punctures on a regular basis, you need to check what is the kind of 
air pressure that you're maintaining on your tires or if the tires are probably worn out because of your driving pattern or you've not been using the car it's been standing still for quite some time that also degrades the rubber quality on your tires so make sure that you're always maintaining a proper air pressure on your tires so that you have better handling your better range because it's an ev and also the health of the tire is maintained Normally, you do not need to check the tires maybe around 10,000 kilometers. But then again, if you're driving very rashly, you should. And it also depends upon the kind of compound that you're using on your tires. If it's a soft compound tire, it does wear out very faster as compared to a hard compound tire. A normal set of four for a Tigo EV would cost you around 16,000 or maybe more. Again, it depends on the manufacturer that you're purchasing it from and the compound of the tire that's being used on your radio. Now, there are no other components on an EV that will need your attention. Yes, maybe the wheel bearings or the disc rotors, but that's after two or three years of extensive usage. So if you compare or if you just want to calculate what is the overall cost of maintaining an EV per month for two years, that's about thousand bucks. But if you compare that to an IC car, the IC car maintenance cost would be double, in some case, even three times that of an EV. So if you've paid a little more to get an EV over an IC car, Yes, it might have been expensive then, but then in the long run, it's paying back. And also, it's cheaper to charge your EV as compared to refueling your car. How is that for a calculation? Speaking about charging, right now, if you want to charge your car, it will cost you anywhere between 9 rupees to 17 rupees to charge per kilowatt hour but Delhi is introducing 500 new fast chargers where it will cost you merely 2 rupees per kilowatt hour to charge an EV for instance if you took the Tigo EV to any of these fast chargers in Delhi it will charge from a 0 to 100 in less than 100 rupees that is a great move towards India's EV revolution this is Aurelius from Mashable India signing off you guys have a good evening ahead